Good afternoon, and welcome to Wednesday in the Woods. Except today, we're not in the woods. We're talking about what we need to do before we go into the woods. See, when we're in the woods, it's just like an organization operationally going about its day-to-day -day business. There are tools that we use. There's people and processes and technology. And every day, we take those tools and we use them to perform tasks. But over time, those people or those processes or that technology may get a little bit dull. Over time, well, after spending a lot of time in use, sometimes things just get to be a little rough. They might get a little dated. They might need some updating. And so, just like with an ax, it's important that we think about how we maintain our tools, our people, our processes, and our technology. And just like when an ax gets to be dull, or when a knife gets to be dull, tasks start to get to be a little harder. You may not notice at first, right? Chopping down a tree or splitting wood might take another five strokes. Instead of 10 total, you might be up at 15. Might not think anything of it. But eventually, if you let those blades continue to get dull, just like if you let your people skills continue to get dated, or your systems continue to collect a little bit of legacy crop, then eventually you'll be paying for it. Taking down that tree used to be 10 strokes, turns into 50. Just like when your team used to be able to work with a certain kind of customer data, well, as the customer situation grows and scales, your team skills maybe don't keep up and things start to take longer. Your margins might start to suffer. And eventually, well, that ax might not do anything if you let it start to chip. And you'll be, uh, well, you'll be left with no tools and a real problem. So just like with our ax here in the woods, we need to make sure that we keep our people, our processes, and our technology sharp. Because when they get dull, we pay for it. And that typically means we need to make sure to stay on top of it right. We need to make sure to spend at least a little bit of time checking for when our tools don't seem to be working right. We can do that in the field when we're using them. For example, by measuring how many strokes it takes to get through a, a foot DBH tree. Or maybe we come back into the shop and we take a look with a glass or with our eyes and we check for any nicks and, and uh, any clearly dull edges and sharpen it up. But either way, whether you do it in the process through measurement or you have some kind of proactive monitoring uh, protocol that, that you uh, use, it's critical that you don't let these things get dull. Because, as we said, you pay for it in the end. So, next time we'll be in the woods using tools that we've sharpened, just like our people. And uh, we'll see how we do. Got up to 15 degrees today. But I hope you're all staying warm and enjoying yourself. See you next time on Wednesday in the Woods.